Welcome, and thanks for watching, Walrus Vision Toolbox Hawk Transformation Plug-in Video. Our toolbox has an extendable set of features thanks to its plug-in system. If you may want to customize your favorite Vision Toolbox order your own plug-in to extend the toolbox capabilities the way you like. In the next couple of minutes we would like to give to you a quick overview of the features of Hawk Transformation Filter Set Plug-in. The concept of Hawk Transformation for line detection is pretty simple. Every edge pixel has a series of lines crossing it in every possible angle. Depending on the angular resolution you set up for the algorithm you have many lines crossing each of your edge points. So every edge pixel belongs to many lines, but thanks to a smart representation these series of lines can be described by one curve in the Hawk parameter space. Finally we draw all the possible series of lines for every edge pixels on the same parameter space. Those points in the parameter space which are having many curves crossing on it represent a set of edge points which are collinear. So by filtering the parameter space searching for points which are accumulating collinear edge points we can detect lines on the original image. Before we introduce the same concept for circle detection let's have a look at an example how it goes in practice. We are going to detach lines from images by using the Hawk Line Filter or Walrus Vision Toolbox. Just drop your image from your operating system to the application canvas. Select the Hawk Line Transform Filter and drop it on the filter bar. Just leave the default properties and click on the button Draw Lines. As a result we have the strongest lines appeared on the image. With Walrus Vision Toolbox these lines are not just drawn on top of the original image but they also appear as edge components. Just select the Edges tab on the control bar and you can see each of your lines shown as a separate component. Since these are edge component you have all the options that other edge component in our toolbox. Just change the colors of each component to distinguish them from each other. You may notice that all of them are having the same angle so these lines are parallel. Let's see some other options of the Hawk Line Transform Filter. Just drop your image from your operating system to the application canvas. Select the Hawk Line Transform Filter and drop it on the filter bar. Now we are going to detect lines with a certain angle. Just extend the threshold range down to 20% of the maximum intensity while we have longer and shorter lines on the image. Reduce the angle range to 0 degree while we want to draw only the vertical lines on the image. Click on the Draw Lines button. As a result we only have the vertical lines drawn. Now change the angle range to let 90 degree appear within the range. Change the color to green and click on the draw lines button. Now we have the horizontal lines drawn with green color. As a more practical example let's detect the lanes of the road. Just drop your image from your operating system to the application canvas. Select the Cami Edge Detector and drop it on the filter bar. Just by using the default values we are going to have the binary edges. Select the Hawk Line Transform Filter and drop it on the filter bar. Now we are going to rely a bit on our intuition. Since the lines appearing here are having quite different length first we are going to extend the threshold range down to 60%. We have the main lines appeared but now we would like to have the vertical ones. Just reduce the angle range down to 15 degree and also extend the threshold range down to 20%. Change the color to green to distinguish the vertical lines from the others. Click on the Draw Lines button and change the image to the original one to see the result. The same concept can be extended to circle detection. Now for every edge pixel we are going to draw circles around it in the Hawk parameter space. The number of circles around every pixel is determined by the radius range defined. For every radius we draw a circle around every edge point. This task might take long depending on the size of the image, the number of edge pixels and the width of the radius range. Finally we have to filter the three-dimensional Hawk parameter space to get the most significant circle center points to every radius possible. Let's have a look at some example how Walrus Vision Toolbox Hawk Circle Transform Filter works in practice. Just drop your image from your operating system to the application canvas. Select the Hawk Circle Transform Filter and drop it on the filter bar. Narrow the threshold range to 100% and extend the radius range from 15 pixels to 90 pixels. This will cover the radius range we have on the image. Just click on the Draw Circles button. As a result we have new edge components appeared on the image. Click on the Edges tab and change the colors of each circle. Each edge component has its center.
its radius and its intensity in the Hawk parameter space listed. The circle detection also works with overlapping and concentric circles. Let's see another example. Just drop your image from your operating system to the application canvas. Select the Hawk Circle Transform filter and drop it on the filter bar. Narrow the threshold level to 100% to avoid false circles to appear. Narrow the radius range between 70 and 90 pixels. This time we only want to detect the overlapping circles with the highest radius. Click on the Draw Circles button. As a result we have the two overlapping circles segmented. On the Edges tab you can see that they have different radius, 84 and 80 pixels. As a more practical example we are going to validate a gear tooth profile. Just drop your image from your operating system to the application canvas. Select the Cami Edge filter and drop it on the filter bar. As a result we are going to have the binary edge of the gear. Select the Hawk Circle Transform filter and drop it on the filter bar. Extend the threshold range from 50 to 100%. Set the radius to 67 pixel. Extend the More Options panel and set center distance weight to 0.5. This will allow the circle centers to be closer than half of the radius. Click on the Draw Circles button and change the image view to the original one. Although this is a rough validation method any significant difference from these circles in the tooth profile might indicate production defects.